Hi everyone, hope you're well. So it's Thursday the 25th of April 2013 and I've had an amazing day. It's just been really, really sunny and great weather and that's the only reason why really. Just like, just had a really nice day because the weather's so awesome and it's been really long since it's been uh, this sunny and warm um, in my part of the world. I can't remember the last time I actually... I mean, it's been warm for a couple of days, but it's been really, war definitely warmest day so far this year. So um, I went for a longer walk than usual because of it as well. I just kept on walking because it was so nice out. And um, and then a bit later, I sat outside uh, when I was doing a bit of reading. I sat outside with my book in the garden, and that was really nice as well. So, yeah, it's been a really nice day. One second. Um... Uh, ah. so I'm following sorry I was just following a I don't know if you ever do this but I'm just following a Twitter of um, a game developer who's giving out codes to his game but he's tweeting them out so you have to like the second it goes up you have to like instantly copy and paste it before anyone else does um, oh product oh how many says it's not valid? I've typed it in wrong or something. Like you've got to change one thing. Hmm. I don't know. Let's try changing a five to an S. No. Um, sorry, this isn't very interesting a uh, video, is it? Um, Anyway, I didn't know when they were going to start tweeting, so I actually decided to do this while I was waiting. Um, anyway, so, yeah, it's just been a really sunny day. Where are my notes for what I wanted to talk about today? Um, <laughs> sorry, that was like the worst possible pause, but I'm not going to edit the video because, you know, that's not what I do with these. So, um, yeah, I was up really late last night learning Redstone, like I said I would. And um, I got really into, I found out how to do random generation and I got really into it. And so I've done loads of work on this dice game that I've been making. So I've like done this big complicated thing. Now I'm thinking of changing it because I've done this like really big circuit because there's different types of dice in the game. And I've done one big circuit for all the types of dice with option optional switches that you can turn on so that it changes the result depending what kind of dice you're rolling and now I'm thinking it might be quicker to do a separate a small separate circuit for each dice so overall it would probably make it like the space the game takes up a little bit bigger but I'm not too worried about that because if I set it up in like a special world file for example and you're just playing the game and all the red stones in the background it shouldn't really matter and um, my main motivation was if each circ if each dice has a separate circuit then it might actually be faster because the thing with this big circuit that does all the dice in one it's it's a little bit slow I mean it takes a couple of seconds to go d -d 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 like for the comment to go through it and come up with the result which um, a few seconds shouldn't be a big deal but when you're like rolling multiple dice per turn um, it'd be nice if it was quick um, oh there's another code holy beans um, oh I think I might be uh... I just realized I think I might be doing it wrong so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close that and ignore it anyway um, so anyway, so what was I talking about? The circuit. Um, so, yeah, so when you're rolling multiple dice, you don't really want to have to wait a couple of seconds and then roll again and wait a couple of moments. I think over, if you're playing a full game of this game, then it would be a bit of a drag. So I was thinking the smaller circuits for the separate dice types, they might be less laggy, they might be a lot quicker. Um, and so, yeah, I think I might do it that way instead anyway um, however I learned 
I learned this stuff, so I decided to actually do some videos explaining it, and I think um, so. I'm quite pleased with those, and it's quite it's a nice bonus of learning this stuff was because I was trying to track down a clear guide, and I couldn't find a clear guide, but I kind of gathered how it worked from watching other people's stuff. So I figured I'd do a clear guide explaining it for anyone else who's interested in that kind of thing. And it was only recently I realised that you can do true random numbers in Minecraft now with that, because um, way, way back when, um, you couldn't really do that, and you had to do it with stopping having a clock or something and stopping it, and it just taking the number from when you stopped it, and ran which isn't really proper randomness, but kind of just kind of um, fulfilled a purpose, but it's much better being able to have proper random numbers. Anyway, so enough about that. I also did a Minecraft LP today because it's a new snapshot, but there wasn't anything super exciting in the snapshot to do a special video about, but there was a new type of clay block, so I decided to just uh, do my normal LP as I'm trying to do that every day anyway and uh, just go and make the clay block in the LP, so I thought that was a nice kind of crossover. And that's one of the reasons um, that I think it's good to use the snapshots in my LP, is because it makes them more relevant and interesting, because they're kind of a little bit like a snapshot review at the same time. Whereas with snapshot, snapshot reviews that just give you the information, it doesn't really... Um, they're useful, but it doesn't really go into what it's actually like playing that snapshot. Whereas my LP does, because I actually actually have to go and find stuff in survival and things without cheating. Um, in the LP in general, so it gives a kind of more of a vibe of what these snapshots are like. So, um, what else? Yeah, and then just generally, um, I've been getting a lot more done recently, and I think it's maybe partly because of these vlogs. So I'm kind of even though um, there's not thousands of people watching these vlogs yet, there's quite a few of you, so it's nice knowing that people are watching and I'm kind of um, being held to public account, if you know what that means. So it's like, I know that if I say I'm going to do something, then I can't just kind of forget about it. Um, or if I do, I better have a good reason, you know. It kind of reminds me um, to do stuff because I've said I would. And it's also like... Um, it also makes me do stuff. It's rare that I don't get anything done in a day because I'm thinking, well, I need to do something today so I have something to talk about in my vlog. It's like if I just sit around playing one game or something or I don't really get a lot done, then I won't have anything to talk about. So it's a nice motivation. And it's also um, been doing a lot of stuff with sort of like setting goals and like really specifying goals and stuff recently and reminding myself of them. I think I talked about goals in an early vlog earlier this month when I started out because um, because of the motivation it gives you. Like everybody, everybody knows you're meant to set goals and most of us don't really bother. And I found where I've learned to actually give it a serious shot and actually write them down and be specific, it actually makes a real difference because suddenly your life has a focus rather than just kind of having a general sense of like wanting to maybe be successful at something you have a really specific goal and then every decision you make can go towards that and I found the last couple of days especially where going for my walk every morning is really good because I can think about all my my goals and what I want to achieve and like really get focused and then everything feels fun to do because it doesn't feel like, oh, I have to make a video. It's um, It becomes, um, which well, sometimes I feel a bit like, you know, even though overall I enjoy doing it, that's why I enjoy doing it, but I've had to start reminding myself that it's enjoyable. And um, and so that's good because now I, <laughs> I, I have reminded myself that it's enjoyable and it is fun again. And also when you have a, a goal in mind, then suddenly you want to do stuff when you know that those things go towards the goal. And um, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like a drag or it doesn't feel like, oh I guess I have to. Because even when you're in that state of mind, it's kind of like you're obviously doing it because 
you know there's something you want to get out of it, but you're just not focusing enough on what you want to get out of it. But if you focus enough on that and less on the actual task at hand, then the task at hand becomes a lot easier and you have more motivation and energy to do it. So, um, so, but generally, generally, I'm just, it's not really meant to be a pep talk today. I'm, I'm just feeling really good. I've just had a really good day. So, um, I hope you're also having a good day and, um, and the weather's good where you are. And I hope that you feel focused and driven in whatever you're doing. And I'll leave it there. I'll just move my mouse to the stop button. Okay, and I hope you're well, and I will see you later.